is this? It is officially summertime and you know what that means. It means it is time for our seasonal FabFitFun box. So I have now gotten a full year's worth of FabFitFun boxes. They do it seasonally, so every three months. Uh, I started, the first one I purchased was last year for the autumn box. So this will mean I've gotten autumn, winter, spring, and now summer. So that means uh, we have completed a full cycle, a full calendar cycle, if you will, of uh, FabFitFun boxes. Of those, I've so far gotten one that I loved, one that I was like meh, and one that I really hated. So this month, they always do a great job of doing like customization. They do let you pick out several customized items. Um, it is a more ex expensive box considering, um, I think it after tax and everything, it's like $53. So that's definitely a pricier box, but because you're only getting charged for it every three months, it does make it a little bit more reasonable. And sometimes you get some really great stuff. Last month or last season, I was very disappointed. Um, but this one, because of the customization options, I have uh, some excitement for. So let me stop rambling and let me jump into it. Uh, while I am opening the box, I will say I do currently have uh, small tarantulas glued onto my eyes uh, from a look that we just did today. I believe that video has already posted. So if you wanna see that, it was a CBD product uh, uh, box. They're not box, just product usage, I guess. And uh, yeah, these were 420 lashes and I don't normally wear fake lashes, but I'm kind of I'm kind of vibing them, so. Okay, so the first thing you get with your FabFitFun box always is the uh, magazine that kind of gives you the details of everything that they've included in the boxes, the prices of all of the stuff, all that goodness, yeah, yeah. They gave us a dis a bright seller's $50 credit uh, to discover wine that you love. Um, they always include this kind of stuff. I, they've been doing like HelloFresh a lot with it too. Um, I don't normally use them. I probably should, but uh, normally when even the coupons, it's still gonna be like a hundred bucks for like an order. So I was like, eh, yeah. I'm ripping open it. Here we go. The first thing I'm gonna pull out, I know I chose this. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, if you guys haven't heard, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining Dark Angel Beauty. We love that you're here. Um, but we're in the, currently in the process of buying our own house. Um, we moved back from Wilmington about a year ago. Uh, we saved to buy a house and we've been living with our families and now we're in the process of buying a house. So we should be in hopefully in November. Oh God, I can smell it immediately. Wow, sorry. Uh, so one of the customization options I was given uh, the choice of was a diffuser, a solstice diffuser from Pottery Barn. And because of the house, I really thought it was pretty adorable. And I was like, I'm gonna do that. So I opted to get that. I can't really get it out though. It's like packaged so crazily. I want you guys to see it because it's it's precious, but it's just like, wow, God, they've, they've really packaged it in there. My eyelashes keep attaching to my hair. Okay, so diffusing liquid, diffusing straws. This is what I want you guys to see. It is the actual little vase. And I just, I thought it was super cute. Um, my color scheme is like black and silver, so it doesn't super match it. But I mean, there's a lot of areas that I think it'll work in. Our studio, our filming studio, we have an entire room dedicated to that and my makeup will be stored in there. And so I think that might be a good place for it as well. So that is why I picked him out. And then he was a monster to get out of the box. I'm not gonna put him back in and waste everybody's time. So moving on. I'm trying to remember what I picked. I, I know two of them. Yeah, okay, so I did choose this one. I was super excited about this. This was actually the product that made me think that this box was going to be a lot better than uh, the last one because I really was very disappointed with spring. So I chose this. It's a Michael Kors uh, passport wallet. And I love Michael Kors. The purse I'm currently carrying actually is this exact pattern, which is one of his standard patterns uh, with the brown with the gold. And I, I just love it. Um, with COVID and everything going on, obviously traveling is not really happening right now. We're set to go on a cruise in December, but I'm not sure we will be going because of COVID because I'm just, I'm not comfortable doing that. But um, I did think that this would make a great little passport folder, just really cute, does match up my stuff nicely. And yeah, so I think this is like the retail value. It was like $75, because you know, Michael Kors is pretty expensive. So I was like, I saw that and I was like, that makes the box worth it in my opinion. So that is why I picked it up. I I think this is the last one I chose. I'm trying to get the ones that I chose and then I'm gonna do the rest. But um, this is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Condition and Restore Revitalize uh, Moisturizing Cream. I actually have this already, uh, but I chose it because I love it. I love goat milk cleansers and moisturizers, uh, soy milk, really any milk based. I, for whatever reason, I just really like the way they react with my skin. And I love Kate Somerville and her line. So I was like, Let's do that one this time. So those are the ones that I chose. And I do remember that. So that's go, that was impressive on me for remembering. We're gonna move on to this one because he's open. So what's, what is this? He's, he popped he pop the hell open. He said, 
let me out. And I said, okay, okay, sorry. But this is a beach mist, but I don't know what that means. It's a botanical after sun spray. Interesting, what does it do? Let's find out. Direction, shake gently before use and spray onto face or desired area of body. Just whenever, or is it after sun? I, but what does it do for me? It doesn't tell me what it does. It just tells me to spray myself with it. So maybe the magazine will tell me that, but it's a good size. It's four fluid ounces. Um, I'm thinking it's probably something that's just going to like refresh your skin after being in the sun. That would be my guess. Kind of um, kind of similar to like uh, like the Mario Badascu face sprays, like the rose spray and all those that they, they have. Um, but I do want to look at the book and see what it tells me to do with that. So that, okay, excited about this, excited. This is a Murad cleanser, the environmental shield essential C cleanser, but look at how freaking big it is. He's giant. <gasps> He's huge. How, how many ounces is he? He's 6.75 fluid ounces. That's a, that's a great cleanser. And I love Murad. I'm not really a skincare person, but FabFitFun seems to really dig more into the skincare aspect of it and the home good aspect of it and that kind of stuff rather than like makeup. So I, you have to understand what the box is designed to do. So I love I this great product. I'm excited. I like this box. I'm happy. I wasn't sure if I was going to be, but I am. I like it. Okay, so the next thing I got is from, it looks like a, a original Riddle. I don't, I don't know. That's what the little box looks like. And it's a roll-on fragrance oil. Let's see how he smells. Ooh, cute little. I don't know how I feel about it. I like it, but do I love it? I don't know. It's weird. Hmm. It's very, like, when you smell it, you think of like clean laundry, like that fresh, you know, certain scents are like that fresh, clean, but it's got like a hint of floral in it maybe. And it's, so it's just, you almost are like, so what am I smelling here? But it's good. Very summery. It does, it smell, it really does smell like almost like summer air. I like it, I like it. Good for the purse, good for traveling. Oh, okay. I got a makeup sponge. It is from Makeup Drop. I've not heard of them, but I love sponges. I love, I got one in my Glow Attic box, the microfiber one this month. I love, I just love getting sponges because I can never have too many. And certain ones you'll get and they are not great quality and you'll throw them away quickly. This doesn't seem like one. This seems a lot like, a, like it could be a really close dupe to the, um, to uh, of course the, uh, God, what's the original? The, the Beauty Blender, the, yeah, the original, the OG. So excited, always love getting stuff like that. All right, we've come to the final product of the summer box. And I have to say, I am pleasantly impressed with what they have provided with us uh, for, for this particular season. I feel like it is well worth $53. I would definitely have paid that happily for the, the cleanser, the uh, sponge, the, I, God, all of it. I, there's nothing I got in this box that, like honestly, the beach mist and the perfume right now are the ones that I'm kind of like, eh, they're extras, but everything else is well worth it. So hell yeah, it's like getting a free gift. <gasps> what is this? It's an ice roller. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so I've seen these. I believe they are for your body. It's for your, it's for anything. It's for your, they're saying for your face actually, which, okay. So leave your ice roller in the freezer for four or more hours before use, roll it over your face and neck daily for visible improvements. That is so cool. Really heavy, really nice texture. Um, I have a jade roller and I like the jade roller a lot. Um, but part of it, when we move into the house, I wanna get like a, one of the small freezers for, um, for the studio so that I can keep my beauty products, the fridge freezer combo thing, so I can keep my beauty products in it too. So this will definitely end up getting some good use, especially when we move into um, to the new house. And it, it has some weight to it, so. Yeah, good box. Good job, FabFitFun. I have to say it's been very hard because some seasons really, it's been like 50% of them I've loved and 50% of them I've been disappointed with, which is hard because it's, is it worth it then at that point? But I mean, I know I won't cancel it. I want to see what the autumn box looks like. If all of my boxes looked like this, there would be no question. This would be one of my favorite subscription services, but I just feel like it's kind of hit or miss. So just, you know, explore them. I know they do. The reason I joined was because, um, last fall they offered boxes for $25, which is half price. That's how I ended up joining. And then of course, after that, your boxes are full price, but I got a really good deal for that one. So yeah, look out for that. I'm sure it's probably coming again sometime soon, um, especially with everything going on with COVID. I know like a lot of companies are just trying to get people to join or to, to become involved. So I would say look into them. Um, actually, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna tell you the prices of everything. So our diffuser was $59. Our Michael Kors travel passport wallet was $78. 
our, and they have some other good stuff too that we didn't get, but, but like it looked like all the options were really solid this month. My Zoe Ayla ice roller is $30. The Kate Somerville goat's milk cream was $65. Our makeup drop hybrid makeup applicator. Oh, which looks like, I'm just now seeing it because mine was kind of turned. It looks like it actually has a silicone body on it, which is so cool. So like the flat part of it is silicone, which makes me really excited to test this out. I think I need to do like a, just a little tutorial with that just to see how it works. That is a $20 blender. Oh yeah, my, okay, sorry, I missed them. They're down at the bottom. The, okay, I don't believe that. So this little guy, they're telling, they're trying to, they're trying to tell me that he is worth $50. <laughs> now he is very interesting smelling though. I would not pay that, but like, you know, okay, I'll take it. And then they're saying that this is $42. Mm. Yeah, and it was, it's just got soothing aloe, mint, and lavender mixture in it. So it literally, it's just like a cooling spray after you've been in the sun. So yeah, I, those are not worth it in my opinion. There's some other stuff that they have listed for cheaper that I would have preferred. Oh, I'm sorry, the Murad cleanser was 42. That was the, the last one, so. Oh, 384, Nikki was listening. He was listening and adding because he's the real MVP back there. I, I'm a mess today, I'm so sorry. It's because I'm so distracted by my eyelashes. So that means the total value of this box was $384. Like I said, uh, 90 of that was in what I would call overpriced stuff. I wouldn't pay it, but it's fine. Great box, great value. I love everything I got, well worth my $50. Yeah, I hope that the autumn box is as good because uh, yeah, I like to see these boxes. These make me happy. I like being happy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to Dark Angel Beauty yet, we would love for you to become part of our little YouTube community family. Love all of my subscribers so much. And uh, when we get new ones, I get so excited and I'm like, yay. So uh, join our family and then you can see all the times that I uh, glue crazy long eyelashes to my face and uh, open boxes, because that's what I've done today. Uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.